Sairam students? Yes. Let's continue with our same chapter 13. That is perimeter, area and volume. And today we will be doing the last part of this chapter. Now children in the last class we have already learned how to find the area by counting the number of squares. Correct? So today let us continue and learn to find the area using the formula. Now to find the area of a rectangle, yes, we will multiply the length into breadth. Whereas to find the perimeter of a rectangle, it is 2 into length plus breadth. Whereas to find the area of a rectangle, it is length into breadth. Same way, if area is given and breadth is given and if you have to find the length of a rectangle, we will divide area divided by breadth. That is length of a rectangle is equal to area upon breadth. And the same way, if we have to find the breadth of a rectangle and length is given, we will divide area divided by length. That is, breadth of a rectangle is equal to area upon length. At the same time, to find the area of a square, your formula is side multiplied by side. If the side of a square is given, you will multiply side into side. That is your area of a square. Let us start with an example. Okay, now here it is. To find the area of a rectangle whose length is 12 cm and breadth is 7 cm. Now, as I have already shown you the formula to find the area of a rectangle that is length into breadth. Okay, so what is your length? Your length is 12 cm and breadth is 7 cm. So, 12 sevens are that is 80 4. Now, while writing the area, you will write it as centimeter square. Area is always written in square. So, your answer is area of rectangle is 84 centimeter square. Or you can also write it as 84 square centimeter. Anyways, you can just write. Okay. Coming to the next example. The area of a rectangular garden is 220 square meter. If its breadth is 10 meter, find its length. As I have already told you, here breadth is given and area is given. So, we have to find the length. So, to find the length, we will divide that is area 220 upon 10 that is your breadth. Yes. So, this 0 and this 0 gets cancelled so the length of a rectangle is 22 meter you have to write the unit whether it is meter or centimeter <coughs> so the length of a rectangle a rectangular garden is 22 meter coming to the exercise sums 13.2 which you have to do it in your notebook Yes, the first one is to find the area of a rectangle whose dimensions are given below. Now, the length is 14 cm and breadth is 8 cm. Same way as the formula goes, that is to find the area, it is length into breadth. So, that is 14 multiplied by 8. So, that will be 112 cm square or you can write square centimeter yes yes the working of this is shown here in this slide you can just copy down area of a rectangle first write the formula that is length into breadth that is length is 14 so 14 into 8 is 112 square centimeter the next one d1 where the length is given as 20 meter and breadth is given as 17 meter so, area of a rectangle is length into breadth, that is 20 into 17. Now, when you multiply, that will be 340 square meter. Now, here the unit is meter. So, you write the answer as square meter. Now, coming to the next sum of the exercise, that is finding the area of a square whose side is given below. Now, the side of a square is given I have already shown you the formula to find the area of a square that is side into side. So, write the formula first. 
area of a square is side multiplied by side that is 9 into 9 so 9 nines are is 81 square centimeter or you can also write it as 81 centimeter square anyways you can write the answer coming to the next sum where the area that is the side of a square is 21 meter so write the formula area of a square is equal to side into side so 21 multiplied by 21 is 441 square meter so that is the area of a square whose side is 21 meter Okay, coming to the word problem here, the area of a badminton court is 240 square meter. If its length is 20 meter, find its breadth. So, to find the breadth of a rectangle, sorry, to find the breadth of a badminton court, so breadth is equal to area upon, A stands for area, L stands for length. So, area is 240 upon 20 so this 0 gets cancelled now 24 divided by 2 that is equal to 2 ones are 2 and 2 twos are 4 so your answer is 12 meter yes okay the working of this is shown here in this slide now area of a badminton court which is given has 240 square meter Length of the badminton court is 20 meter. We have to find the breadth. So, breadth is area upon length. That is 240 upon 20. Now, we will cancel this 0. So, 24 divided by 2 is 12 meter. So, <clears throat> the breadth of the badminton court is 12 meter. Coming to the next sum. Okay. Here, the area of the rectangle is 176 square centimeter. If its breadth is 11 cm, find its length. Now, to find the length of a rectangle, your formula is area upon breadth. So, your area given is 176 square centimeters. So, 176 upon 11. Yes. Now, 11 ones are 11. When you divide... 6 here carry over 11 6 are 66 so the length of the rectangle is 16 centimeter yes the working is shown here in the slide area of a rectangle 170 176 centimeter square breadth is 11 centimeter when you divide it you will get the answer has 16 centimeter yes children now with this we complete with the portion for your uh, exam. Now, exercise 13.3 and 13.4 is omitted. So, before we conclude, just revise all the formulas. The first one is, in this chapter, we have learned how to find the perimeter and area. So, the perimeter of a rectangle is 2 into length plus breadth. Perimeter of a square is 4 into side. To find the side of a square, we have to look. That is perimeter divided by 4. Then to find the perimeter of a triangle, it is we have to add all the three sides. That is side plus side plus side. Same way to find the area of a square, it is side into side. Whereas to find the area of a rectangle, it is length into breadth. If area is given and breadth is given, to find the length of a rectangle, we will divide area by breadth. That is area upon breadth. And to find the breadth of a rectangle, area divided by length. So, you have to be very thorough with all the formulas. So, once you are thorough with the formulas, it will be easy for you to solve any type of sums. Now, based on this, home assignment for you. Here, you have to find the area of a rectangle whose dimensions are given below. First, two sums, length and breadth is given. You have to find the area of a rectangle. And the second one is to find the area of a square whose side is given. Again, two sums to find that is area of a square. That is, you will multiply side into side. So, using the formulas, just do this home assignment in your homework part. So, that's all students. In the next class, we'll start with the revision. Till then, 
Thank you for today and have a good day. Bye.